Backpack safety, the best one for your child and how they can avoid back pain for the new school year. Lots of families will be knocking out back to school shopping this tax free weekend and on the top of a lot of students checklists book bags. It's more important to know which backpack is the safest for your child because experts say there's been a rise in back injuries because of heavy book bags. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission reporting backpack related injuries sent more than 7,000 people to the emergency room in just one year. So this morning we have the experts to give us some tips and some guidelines to keep our kids safe as they head back to school. I'm here this morning with Dr. Katie Newton and Dr. Tremaine Singleton. Thank you so much Hi, for joining morning. us bright and early this morning with a bright purple backpack to talk about this. <laughs> uh, so the rule of thumb, generally speaking, is that you want the backpack to weigh about 10% of the child's weight, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, think about that as 10 pounds if your kid weighs, say, 100 pounds. Uh, and this is a concern. It's been a growing concern because children are not having back injuries and back pain in, as they're younger than previous generations. Correct. Yes, ma'am. The ACA, which is the American Chiropractic Association, they actually report um, that children are suffering from back pain much earlier in mm -hmm. life than previous generations. And like you said, we're seeing lots of people going to the emergency room with these injuries. All right, so parents, we are on your side this morning to make sure that your child is not the next victim of that unwanted back pain uh, because we know those roller bags aren't always an option. No. So let's talk about some tips about how they should carry the backpack. Sure. sure. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. So as you mentioned earlier, um, uh, the weight of the backpack mm -hmm. shouldn't be no more than 10% of the child's body weight. Okay. And on average, the, the average weight nine days for an uh, elementary school uh, uh, child's uh, backpack between 12 to 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's already 15 to 30 percent. So what you might want to make sure is the straps of the backpack here mm -hmm. are uh, level on the shoulders. Okay. And you want to make sure they're not wearing one strap at a time. Kind of tends to oh, throw yeah. off. <laughs> oh yeah. Run out the door. Oh yeah. The cool Throws off the weight balance <laughs> right. and everything. Okay. So and that tends about... to increase the low back pain okay. and, uh, throughout the school year with that. What about how low the back is? I know the heavier mm -hmm. it gets, it seems like the lower yeah. the backpack yeah. goes. So with this backpack, you want to make sure that's no more no more than four inches below the uh, the belt line there. Okay. Because once it gets lower than that, you start to battle with that weight distribution again, increase. Uh, uh, pressure in that low back and to that disc there. What can parents do when, when, it, when it comes to those heavier books? Uh, one thing they can do is talk to the teacher, uh, number one. Um, just talk to them and see if they can leave, leave the uh, books at school or at home. Or a lot of nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, schools are going more towards a technological base where they are allowing the, yeah. the books tablets to be accessed, are a lot the lighter. tablets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it works best uh, that way. Okay, and then if a kid you see kind of seems to, your child seems to have some of those distress symptoms, what, what should we look out for as parents? Um, you can look out for back pain, mm -hmm. uh, neck pain, uh, mm -hmm. knee pain. Uh, those tend to be some warning signs. But make sure that your child wears uh, the backpack before they purchase it. Mm -hmm. um, that way you can actually see them put it on. If they have a difficulty putting it on, that probably not the best backpack to get right, at the time. Right, because that's empty. <laughs> yeah, so you exactly. want to make sure it fits yeah. uh, correctly. All right, doctors, thank you so much for joining us.